we were talking about before, a dollar is easy to get from a parent if you can scare them that something is going to hurt their kid. And so you have a whole industry devoted to scaring parents so that they think they have to buy something that somehow humanity lived without for the first million years of evolution, like baby knee pads. They sell baby knee pads. And, and if you look at the site that sells baby knee pads, it says, your child will put on 7,000 miles of crawling as if they're a tire or something, you know, like, well, then you'd have to replace them. They'd be worn out. But this is a kid and they're supposed to be crawling and it's supposed to be a little bit of friction and so that they feel like they'd rather walk, you know, especially if the ground is, is painful to them. So that is something that is on the market that I, I didn't save it. And I have no idea how to look through all my emails to find it, but somebody was marketing these pants that look like normal pants on the outside, but inside is literally bubble wrap. <gasps> yeah. And what they said is when your child is learning to walk, they will fall on average 17 times a day. And then it went on. This is, this is where we get it all wrong. It says, imagine how you'd feel falling 17 times a day. And I'm thinking, if I fell 17 times a day, I'd be in traction. You know, I mean, something would have broken, but children are supposed to fall. And to rewrite that as a danger as opposed to part of the process is what's driving us crazy. Suddenly everything that's normal is rewritten as a danger. And so you have, um, there's, there's walking wings, which are these little marionette things. You put a, a vest around a kid with these strings and it pulls the child up and helps them walk. I mean, we're treating all the kids, we were talking earlier about treating them as vulnerable. We also treat them as if they're all behind the curve. You know, they all need this intervention, you know, what is it? Early intervention, early and persistent intervention, as if nothing will kick in on its own and nothing is safe enough. It's, it's, um, it's a pervasive view at this point that they really, that kids can't do anything safely or successfully on their own. And that phrase, once you internalize it, you'll realize, oh my God, that's what's going on. They can't do anything safely or successfully, one or the other on their own. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching the episode. If you're interested in contributing to the conversation and supporting the show, there's two easy things you can do. One, click subscribe. And two, visit our Patreon page where you get exclusive access to the Exploring Minds community.